Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Hometown Cable. We're in Rouses Point, New York. I'm Bob Venn. Calvin Castine's got the camera. What's going on here, and what goes on in the middle of the summer in uh, the northern tier that everybody knows about except for St. Mary's Bazaar? The big July celebration, one of the biggest in the, in the northern tier, completely around uh, one of the biggest and very well known and the people come from all over and of course this man here is not unfamiliar george ducharme and hi george how you doing and it'll be on uh, well we're watching this on the 25th of june and it'll be next weekend folks three days tell us about your uh, your celebration this year no we're going to start actually one night a little bit early we're starting friday night okay and we're going to have a, a jazz quartet down here we're going to play music out of the 40s and 50s. Where is that? Where will that be? In the gazebo right down here. Yeah, in the yeah. gazebo over to our yeah. right. And uh, and the next night, of course, we're going to have uh, St. St. Patrick's Choir in here. And then they're going to be followed by the Straw Hatters. That'll be in the rec in, center? In the Civic Center, yeah. Yep. And Saturday night? Yeah. Saturday night? Saturday night, night yeah. Uh-huh. And the, uh, hopefully, the boat parade. Yeah, I, we've been reading about that. Mm -hmm. Yes, the new uh, new owners down here are going to get involved in that. The new owner well, at Gates Marina. Yeah, but uh, uh, if you know Rico's last name down here, I can't think of it. But anyway, he's the guy that's uh, kind of handling the boat parade for me. Uh huh. And uh, to Lighthouse Marina, and they're offering some good prizes this year. They're offering uh, like uh, summer dockage for first uh -huh. prize, summer dockage uh -huh. from Gaines Marina for second prize. $500 from the uh, Chamber of Commerce, and there are some other smaller prizes that are uh, coming in. It's about the third year for that, George? Fourth, third, fourth this is, year? This is the fifth one. Fifth one. This well, you've had some good ones. There haven't been a lot of boats no. in it, but you know that's a little bit different. Well, There's a lot of work involved yeah. in decorating, you know? Yeah. No, the thing of it is, oh, this one is being dedicated at, uh, as a Dick Gaines Memorial Parade. That year. should mean a lot. And uh, like I say, the prizes will mean a lot, too, yeah. because they got something to shoot for now, you know? Uh huh. Of course, we talk about Dick just for a second. You know, I knew Dick pretty well. We used to play yeah. some ball together oh, yeah. Yeah. way back, you know, and uh, kind of miss Dick. Dick, we, we're so happy we were able to get him on TV and have the show with him. Yeah. He was just so natural at talking with us that time, and it's a good memento to have in the, mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that will take care of uh, Saturday night. And, of course, Sunday we're going to have uh, our flea markets and our carnival and... Uh, Concession stands down in here, and then we're going to have in the afternoon. We're going to have the line dancers in here. Where will they be? In the gazebo. In the gazebo yeah. again. Yep. And they're going to give uh, demonstrations, and they're going to uh, give some instruction. Now, the people that want to come and want to watch it ought to bring their own chairs. Huh? They uh, can bring their own I chairs because they should, yeah. because they're going to be inside the building, and you could be sitting around if you, unless you want to stand. Uh, well, there are some picnic tables down in there, but there's not enough uh, if there's any kind of a crowd. You know? Right. So bring your own picnic chairs if you want to watch that. But that'll be uh, an hour or more. Two hours. Two hours. Yeah, two hours. Uh-huh. And then, of course, uh, 7 o'clock that night, it's a street parade. Right. And uh, then after that, will be the fireworks. Now, when you talk about a parade, of course, you're the old master at that. You were do When you weren't even running the whole thing, you've always been in charge of the parade pretty well, haven't you? I've always been in charge of the whole thing. <laughs> oh, the whole thing, too. <laughs> Have you got a special person just for the parade? No. It makes it tough for the overall chairman to run the parade, too. I've done both. You have done, too. How's your parade look for this year? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we got about uh, ten bands in there, and, and only one of them is a juvenile band right now. They're, they're still talking to a couple of others, but this one is uh, Secrets out of Ontario, and uh, the rest are all uh, pipe bands or brass bands. Wow, you know, and there's where you're talking money, folks. Uh, you're talking anywhere from 300 to 650 dollars per band, more, more even, <laughs> and that's why you know the other parades around have been cutting back. We have a certain budget, and every as they go up, you get less and less bands all the time. Uh, but you still have that many bands, because that makes a parade. There's no question about it. Yeah, bands, floats, and good marching units. But you're not a money raising uh, affair here for this weekend. All we want to do is break even. Now, when I mentioned George Ducharme and not trying to make money, he said, it can't be. They said, listen, George, they said, come on, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> uh, no, but it's really, uh, not, we'll get a little bit, we'll get right back to you and we'll hear where the money comes from and uh, uh, where, how will you pay for this, too. You know, it's a great, uh, it's great for the village, great for the merchants. Mm -hmm. Do you have open containers during that one day? 
I know uh, uh, you're not supposed to have open containers in Rosa's Point. Do they bother them much? No, they don't bother. <laughs> I, don't try, I don't want to encourage you on that, but anything else? We'll take a short break and come back. We're talking with George Dusheim. We're talking about the festival program at, uh, what's the overall name? Fourth of July, of July celebration at Rouses Point, New York. Okay, George, we're going to go back again because there has been some changes this year from a parade on the usual Saturday to a Sunday. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the reason for that this year? Simply uh, the fact that Dominion Day is on a Saturday in Canada. The Somewhere, first, yeah. yeah. And our bands are, a lot of them are Canadian. They're tied up there. And they, they're tied up there. We can't get them there and here the same day. Exactly. So consequently, we had to go to Sunday night for this year. Okay, but, so uh, that, you don't expect to continue that. I always prefer Saturday night because then the people that are home visiting their relatives and stuff have Sunday to be with their with their people and they can leave at their leisure. If you go on yeah. Sunday night, they got to pack up and uh, sit and wait or leave without seeing the parade. All right. We're going to tell you this again uh, and then use the date now. Friday night, and that's the June the 30th, 7 to 9 o'clock, yeah. the quartet. Beverly's Quartet, yeah. At the gazebo, right here on the in the wreck area. Supposed to be music out of the 40s and 50s. And we know about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Sure do. laughs> All right. You gonna bring your wife to that? Reminisce? She should be around here somewhere. <laughs> Saturday, yeah. July 1st. Okay, Saturday, July 1st. Uh, July the actually, Freedom actually, Run. Don't yeah, forget that. We, we overlooked that. Yeah, first don't... thing in the first thing in the morning, 9:30 a.m. You got the uh, 12th annual Freedom Run. And the starting point is Rouses Point Elementary School on Maple Street. And uh, there's two people to contact if you want to be in this race. It's Doug Smith, and I better get my glasses on and read the number. You want to read it for yep. me? 297-8556 <laughs> during the day. Or you can call Brian Norton, 297-2909 in evenings. Uh, Doug Smith and Brian Norton, and that's at 9.30 a.m. on Saturday. Yeah. Good turnout on that, generally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One o'clock until closing. Flea market, food concessions, carnival, uh, mother and daughter clown act, face paintings right here on the grounds. Right. Okay, 7.30. St. Patrick's Choir at, in the Civic Center. In the Civic Center. Followed by the, uh, the uh, Straw Hatters. They'll play a concert in there. Now, although the Straw Hatters aren't completely local, they certainly are a local organization with some out-of-town people, but both of those organizations well worth your patronage, and the St. Patrick's Squares will have a whole new program uh, again. One, uh, one, and the Straw Hatters, huh? Free admission? One free other, admission for that? I was going to say, one of the things we, I wanted to mention is that everything that we do here is free. There's no charge. Right. Can they make a donation anywhere if they wanted? Is there anything we'll available? <laughs> is, there, is there a container or anything? No. I mean, they don't necessarily encourage it, but any of that, cause this is expensive, folks, and if you, if, if you see somebody around, a, a canister's around might be, you know, they would be great because people would like to pay for something like that. A dollar, two dollars would be nothing, but it mean a lot when you get a bunch of them. Sure does. <laughs> it's not a money raising. All right? Okay, at dusk, then we're going to have our fifth annual boat parade. This is a parade is the lights and music. And this one this year is dedicated to uh, Memorial Dick Gaines. So it's Dick Gaines Memorial Boat Parade. Now, and the weather permitting, if the weather is bad, if it gets too rough, then we'll use the uh, next night after the street parade, we'll put it on then. But hopefully we'll get it off on Saturday night. Okay, that would be Sunday if it, if it had to be changed. The wind out there could cause havoc and the, the, the boats are going by very slowly and so forth. Okay. Then the big day, I say the big day because it's the parade, and that's what people come to yeah. flock in here for, Sunday, July 2nd. Yeah, well, we open at 1, 1 p.m., and then at 2 to 4, we're going to have line dancing, uh, show, and instructions. That means that some of the people can get up there, too, and learn, too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right over here in the, in the gazebo I mean, on the... This, this outfit is also going to be in a parade, and I don't know what they do, but they asked me if I could give them three minutes in front of the reviewing stand, and I usually don't stop that parade. Are you going to? Uh, well, if I got somebody with a radio there that tells me when they're there, but they're going to get exactly okay. three minutes, and that's it. Where's the reviewing stand? It's going to be at Dodge Memorial Library. At the library, all right. Uh, huh? Which group is it? Which group? Uh, your line dancing, do you know? Um, Morris Fork's group? I don't know. 
Don't, don't know. Don't know. All right. Uh, you got a grand marshal? No. You don't have one, no. huh? Okay. And at dusk, your big fireworks display from the Sportsman's Pier. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. For sure. Well, Depending on the wind again. No, no. This year we got a different deal. Oh. I don't handle fireworks this year. The village said they wanted them off the Sportsman's Pier. I brought them the guy's contract. Said you deal with it. Okay, so he's, uh, he's not worried about getting the sparks over in the boat? <laughs> I think it's uh, be taken care of. Okay. And, uh, it doesn't end Sunday night. You can go home if you want, but Monday and Tuesday you're going to continue to have the... Yeah, the, well, Monday's going to be a work day, of course, for a lot of people, but uh, the carnival and the concession stands, everything will be here. Yeah. And then at night... Yeah, Monday night, we got Whitey Reese and his uh, Colebrook Ramblers coming in for a couple hours. At the gazebo yeah, out at there. The gazebo. All the music will be at the gazebo except for the Straw Hatters concert. It'll be in the Civic Center. Again, don't forget, if you're coming and you want to sit down, bring yourself a, a lawn chair. Uh, they won't be provided. They don't have those. And then Tuesday. Tuesday. Well, we're going to open at 9 a.m. and then go to the closing. But we'll have a, we have a raffle every year. And at 12 o'clock noon, we'll pull for the winners. It's 500 300 and $200. First, second, and third prizes. Okay. And then uh, that will pretty much wind things up. You don't have to be a Rogers fighter to win that. No. All we need on the tickets is a name and a phone number. Okay. And we, they buy those? Who's selling those, by the way? Well, uh, right now, it, n there's only two places, three places in town have got them. Uh, Hair Hut here has them, and uh, Pizza Barber has some, and uh, uh, Community Insurance has some. Okay. Now, George, except for th there is no income for your group, well, unless you get a percentage of some of the, or the booths, right, uh, for well, the, the village, flea market? The, the village puts up $5,000. Okay. 3000 of that goes for the fireworks right off the top. The other 2000 helps to pay for a couple of bands. Okay. Then who's, where'd the rest of the money come from? We raise it. Who's we? Well, it's here. Uh, it's nothing to do with the Legion, <laughs> no, nothing? No, no, it's, it's a village it's a it's group that got together, thing. okay. But uh, we, sell our, we sell ads on our flyer for one thing. Okay. And then we uh, hold this raffle. All right. What about others on your committee? Can you name them all? Yeah, I can name one. <laughs> <laughs> name one. Myrtle Thornhill. She handles the flea market. For okay. Us. You got anybody else on your committee? Uh, not really. I got people doing a couple of different things, things for you, not, but that's uh, that's it. And Rico, Rico handles a boat parade. Uh huh. From the uh, light, was it Marina at Lighthouse Point? Okay. He handles a boat parade for us. Okay, we're going to be right back. Take a short break. Come right back and close this off. We hope that you're going to be here as usual on the big weekend. And, of course, nobody wants rain on the weekend. Everybody's got something going on on the weekend. This week it's where, Calvin? What's, who's got, huh? 24th is what? Nothing. Nothing? No, there's nobody got a parade this weekend. <laughs> Maybe it should rain this weekend. We'll be right back. Now, this is a non-paid job, a real volunteer here for the village. Been doing this for years. George Ducharm. Just mentioning off camera, he didn't say it himself, I'll repeat it. Sold all the ads in his in his program himself. He went out and did that. Sometimes it's easier than trying to get somebody to help you to do it many times. Uh, but when you see George around the grounds or anywhere, you're a, you enjoy this parade. It's for your benefit, it's for your community's benefit. Thank the man. It's all he's going to get. I'll tell you, it's awfully nice when you people out there say, Bob, I enjoyed a certain show, or you tell Calvin. We appreciate that because that's all I'm getting, and Calvin's not getting much more. When he's, he, the patrons out there he continue to send in your money. He, he got advertisers, patronize our advertisers. And let me tell you a little bit about Hometown Cable in the next week. We've got a couple of interesting things coming up. Uh, tomorrow night, Monday night, we're going to the Forum in Montreal to see uh, our first inline roller hockey game. That's a professional, and we're going to have that on Hometown Cable for you. Tuesday, we're going down to see an old friend of all of us, and that's Bird Birday. And so watch for what's going on here in the near future. It'll be on maybe the next Sunday or the Sunday after that. Bird Birdan. And then we're going to see another local uh, operator in town, someone we don't know much about, and that's Irwin Eye Care. We're going to be talking with them. And things that maybe you should know, we'll find out about eye care, what, what to look for and so forth. And that's what we <laughs> endeavor to do in this program, and we're here. This is one of the last ones we have up north, and, and that's not why we're here, but you're the last one at July. It doesn't seem possible. Two months and we'll be Back Labor Day. <laughs> One thing I'd like to mention again, and uh, the fact that anybody that's looking to put a unit in the parade, I'd like to have them call 297-7011 so we can register them in, because it takes time to set this thing up and break it down. 
and we don't need them coming at the last minute and wondering why we can't put them in the line of march somewhere. You still have time for this? This will be shown on oh, yeah. uh, yeah. be one week. Yeah. Hey, tell them what, say what you're looking for. for looking primarily, looking for uh, floats right now. Floats they, and good marching units. They don't have to be elaborate. Just no. something that would, yeah. little thing you can put together. The the other, the, probably one of the things I should have mentioned right in the beginning, is this, this parade is being dedicated to all the members of the armed forces, past and present. So what we're looking for is red, white, and blue, and flags. And we'd also like to see everybody in Rouse's Point display their flag. Okay, the parade route. We better just cover once. The parade route is where? All right. They uh, assemble on the uh, Wyeth Harris Road, come down to Maple, turn right, go south on Maple to Champlain, turn left on Champlain down to Lake, left on Lake Street, all the way down to Pratt Street, left on Pratt Street, which is near the Grand Union for the people out of town, yep. Up to Maple, and then right straight up Maple, back to the assembly area. Right, they got a complete square. That's about a two mile. Exactly, two miles. Two miles, so it's a good walk. But, uh, you know, even uh, Bud Willette had a Willette <coughs> family per, uh, float in the St. Mary's Parade. Very e easily done, and he's, matter of fact, I guess he got a second or third prize on that. And uh, you're looking for little floats, and the schools did well. Are you got the uh, local band in it, the high school band? Too late? Too late, the middle of the year. Okay, we'll be right back. We've been talking. We'll, we're going to be back uh, home is where we're going. We're, we're all finished here at Rouse's Point. George Dushar, I'm the perennial uh, leader of this uh, uh, Rouse's Point dedication, the, the July 4th weekend. Thank you very much, George, for, uh, for we and all my family. Uh, yeah. We appreciate all the work you do. Well, thanks for the coverage and the assistance and the help all the way down the line. You've all have been very good with us. Thanks. So we appreciate that. Thank you.